Hi, I'm Stu. Welcome back to another LumaFusion video tutorial. A couple of months ago, I showed you how to edit ProRes footage within LumaFusion. But what I didn't show you at the time was that I was working with three different projects. And I've got a cool little quick tip on how I easily manage the settings between the projects. So let's get started. I'm currently working on this ProRes demo and I've got three different project files on the go. I've got the original edit, I've then got the video tutorial edit with, as you can see, my usual iPad, iPhone, coffee cup surround. And then I've got the rough cut, which is effectively a duplicate of the original, but without obviously all the cuts. So I can apply the cuts and then put those into the tutorial. And so that I don't have to jump between the original and the rough cut all the time, I'll show you a little tip for saving yourself some time. Go into the original clip, and this is good if you're working with colleagues and there's maybe notes involved with different points in an edit, and that is to look at the timeline, make a screenshot, and then just crop down into the area you're interested in, tap done, save that to photos, and then what you can do is, you can go to, in this case, my rough cut, and I can then go into photos, and I can call upon the photo itself to see my timings. So for example, I can check that the ProRes graphic is definitely 3.05, which it is, and you'll notice my music timing hasn't been cut yet, so I need to work on that. You'll notice the Beach House shot by Rob Layton audio is one second shorter than I had it before. I had it overlapping and then I brought down the audio from the paddle boarding. So we'll look at that in a second or two. So it's just a faster way of basically being able to glance at a previous timeline and allow you to make the changes that you need to make. Match up cuts and positioning a lot easier than you would do having to jump between different files and you may not even have the other project file. Just a screenshot is all you really need. So it's just a quick tip for you there. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up, as it really helps the channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more video tutorials every week, and ring the bell to get notified of when Stu has uploaded a new video tutorial. You have been watching. I am Stu. See you later.